So we've decided, as you are probably aware by now from the last YouTube videos, we decided to start making up some videos of the various things we did. So this weekend we went uh, to the Diddy again. Um, so we thought we'd share the day with you and how it all unfolds. So to start this, we typically get up quite early in the morning because in the afternoons it gets very cold. I mean, very hot. Why am I saying cold? I'm thinking <laughs> about the aircon. Yeah. In the afternoons it can be a little bit hot, and by three in the afternoon we have thunder showers, which is not the ideal with Muscadi wanting to bark and run around. Yeah. Obviously, you can't be out like that. So we typically get up in the morning. We get heavy rainfalls. Yes, yeah, so I'd go about, you know, checking on my emails for the day and updating on my phone and seeing if there's anything important that came through. And Snorty as well, make the breakfast. Yeah. Oh yes, and she's supposed and to add. I feed Muscari all her medication, which she hates me for. <laughs> yeah, so I get I get uh, toast and eggs. Muscari gets uh, peanut butter engorged tablets, <laughs> tablets for breakfast. Um, and then we pretty much pack up, get all the stuff ready, boat in the boot, everything's ready, and then off we go. That is not far from us. It's probably about a 10 minute, 15 minute trip at the most. We stop at like this boat ramp, and then I assign some tasks for the day. So I have jackie build the oars but i've got to watch it in case she builds them the wrong way around we end up paddling backwards, backwards. and then I uh, could be blonde. yeah and then while she's doing that yeah um i'll inflate the boat so it takes a little bit of, i'm i'm the laborer, the like, laborer. She, she does the easy stuff like putting two sticks yeah. together i do the hard stuff like a wicked he does wiki. the pumping yeah <laughs> How appropriate. The pun. Uh, there's no pun. I, I I do the pumping. I do it very seldom though. Very seldom. Boating we do regularly though. Um, and then uh, and then we're off on our boat. So we take typically take a row. It takes about I suppose between thirty and forty minutes to row uh, along the Alfafi River. Yeah. Alfafia River. Um, up to where this thing the Diddy is. Now the Diddy is essentially a natural spring artery that runs into the river and typically on weekends it's a very very busy spot a lot of people gather there because there are places where you can swing on ropes and people can swim park their boats and socialize just always surprises me that people go out onto a river into nature to park in the most beautiful bushy environment away from everything and they put fucking blaring music on <laughs> and it sounds like a backyard party but okay it takes all kinds so then you you kind of row up this video but for the record as well the the river is flowing the alfalfia river is flowing so if you're paddling if you slow down your boat and the water is running in the same direction of you that you yes. are it'll essentially pick up the fin at the back and will start I'll pushing your boat around, around. <laughs> if you are pedaling in the opposite direction or kayaking in the opposite direction rowing in the opposite direction and the water's flowing against you if you slow down the water will push the nose of the boat around the fin yeah. so essentially you must constantly row so as not to turn sideways because that's what the water we're actually going over the river right now yeah. so that's what the water does now the daddy itself you go up this little this little artery this uh, natural spring artery the water is super clear it's absolutely looks like 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 filtered water you go up a bit of a distance you come across this bridge now we normally kind of camp out at the bridge it's stunning there so while we camp out we, we park the boat we swim around a bit take some photographs and videos and then this time we had the GoPro camera so I had one that I could film with and Jackie had one she could film with. what's nice is swimming there it the water is clear 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 crystal clear so if you see any alligators they don't alligators, call them croc crocodiles yeah, no, not only don't they call them crocodiles they are no crocodiles yeah. <laughs> You know, you can see the alligators. You can see see stuff, and Muscari loves it. It's it's shallow enough for her to swim. Oh, she loves. She. You know what's strange is though, in the pool you have to put it in. She'll if she, you throw in a ball, she'll go after it. She'll want to swim, but she'll make one loop or maybe two loops, and then yeah. she's back off. She jumps out and then she hunts for lizards. That's yeah. all she does for the rest of the time. You kind of have to coax her back in. Yeah. But when you go to the ocean, when you go to the diddy, when you go anywhere that's natural water, she loves she's in it. the water and she just goes. I mean. You have to literally pull it back because she'll, I mean, on, on our first trip on, on Anton's boat, she, I think she was trying to swim to St. Petersburg because she just takes off into the ocean yeah. and you have to kind of go after her, which is interesting. And she moves. That little body moves. <laughs> yeah. And she does. She swims fast. She, you can actually see the stream. She actually yeah. swims so fast that you have to swim hard to catch up. Yeah. So, uh, so that's kind of interesting. And then also, uh, Jackie had a bit of a scare with Muscat getting snagged. Your story. Yeah. My... Muscari, she she loves to swim now far ahead. She wants to go catch little leaves and little fishies 
and all that and she tried to turn around and when she turned around the the, the bushes or the branches on the side of the river got snagged in her rope now I'm trying to help her get unstagged the more I'm trying to help her I'm getting stagged more she's sucking water in and trying to swim away <laughs> yeah so, shame shame the poor dog was panicking but the scat was fine <laughs> yeah the scat was fine the dog was panicking <laughs> she when she when she was i was out she carried on swimming she yeah. was back in the water yeah. no signs and the jackie apologized to the dog for about 20 minutes and she even went oh the scat's panicking i said i see no panicking i see a dog that's stuck trying to swim not understanding why she's not anyway so then I also, in one of our next visits, we'll go further up the little stream. Yes. Um, I also went beyond the bridge. Now, on the bridge, there's a little bit of a path. The scenery there is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, you stand there and you're kind of, you're agape because you look around and it just looks like untouched nature. It's this bright green under foliage and, and these, these palm tree looking things and yeah. it's just so much a tropical forest and it's so serene and the weather is so fantastic it's never cold and all the snapping turtles are sitting on the branches those are not snapping turtles by the way those are just turtles oh they're just turtles yeah I those are just snapping no, no. turtles there are lots of turtles that sit on the they, they they are like logs and stuff on the river and you see them all pack up jackie back thought up. they were snapping turtles those are not they are normal normal marine mm. turtles the well, snapping okay. turtle is completely they are much more inclined to be aggressive and they most certainly don't sit around on the branches like yeah. that so for the record no those are not snapping turtles snapping turtles are assholes and you can see them their backs actually look like alligator that's why they are called an alligator snapping turtle the turtles we see there they kind of park off they've got smooth backs they just water turtles yeah. and we tried i try i saw one jump off and i tried yeah. to film it underwater but on the river itself the water is not clean enough yeah. you can't really see it swimming and then I also went further up, there's a little run past the bridge, that's why we said we want to go further next time, we'll canoe further up there. It is unbelievable, it's untouched, serene, beautiful, uh, you know, waterway. I mean, I literally would go as far as to say that I consider this the most beautiful place I've seen as far as beautiful natural scenes are concerned. So that's kind of something to experience, yes. uh, to, to go in there. So anyway, we wanted to share that and... Uh, just to let you see how the day unfolds and what we do yeah. i think it was it's a fantastic thing to do it's almost like a, a, a brilliant recharge because you spend no more than three hours out for the day you leave home it's 15 20 minutes you get there you're over 20 minutes you get to the ditty you you camp out we typically take things like cool drinks and stuff but yeah. um, we found that we're not long gone long enough to justify it and biscotti drinks water out of the spring, spring anyway, anyway yeah. and then uh, also as we were going back to leave i was kind of pushing the canoe out because it's easier than to row especially in the tight spaces um, we found this duck with the little ducklings next to her and I thought that the, the storybooks with the duck being dark and the ducklings being yellow is kind of made up because I don't deal with these kinds of animals and true enough they are the most They're beautiful yellow. little yellow ducklings swimming around so what I will do is when we go back and I see it again I'll film with my phone I didn't have my phone out uh, because we the whole boat was wet by then and uh, it would be good to get some footage of that because that was just absolutely beautiful and I couldn't follow into the ducks because the little stream that goes up to the side to where they are is very mushy and muddy and sticky so if you go in there you come out with mud stuck here it's like a like a gluey a muck yeah. that, that builds up on the side so I didn't go in there no. but I was tempted but next time next um, so that's that uh, we hope to have more adventures we'll share what we can um, we are heading to some more adventures in the next couple of weeks so we'll update you on that and uh, we'll share more videos yeah. uh, and by the way if you want to you can just subscribe to our channel uh, it means that you'll be able to watch all the future ones if you click on the little bell for the notifications then if we upload a new one you'll be informed that there is a new video available yes. we are hoping to turn this into a regular thing uh, re revisiting all the adventures we've had to date and also of course planning for new ones coming in the future yes so subscribe cool thank you Bye -bye. Look after yourselves. Bye.